This video will briefly discuss a few examples of analog filters. They are basically any filter which operates on continuous time signals. Examples of these are the Butterworth filter, the Chebyshev type 1 and type 2 filter, the elliptic filter, and the Gaussian filter. These four filters are the most common filters that you will likely see in signal processing applications. The first type of filter that we will be talking about is the Butterworth filter, which looks something like this. It is a type of signal processing filter that is designed to have a frequency response as flat as possible in the passband and rolls off towards zero in the stopband. These types of filters are widely used in many radio frequency filter applications and is considered as a good all-around form of filter. The second type of filter is the Chebyshev Type 1 filter. These are the most common type of Chebyshev filters and that they are basically analog filters having a steeper roll-off and more passband ripple compared to Butterworth filters. This type of filter is widely used in radio frequency applications where ripple may not be such an issue. The third type of filter that we will be talking about is the Chebyshev Type 2 filter. These Type 2 filters are closely related to the Type 1 filters and are noted for having a flat band magnitude response. While its brother, the Type 1, have more passband ripple, these ones have more stop band ripple when you compare it with the Butterworth filters. These filters have a variety of applications in the biomedical areas. The versatility of these filters allow them to be used in numerous ways such as removing specific power line frequencies, allowing only a desirable frequency range to pass. If the Type 1 and Type 2 Chebyshev filters were to combine, we would have this, an elliptic filter. An elliptic filter is a signal processing filter with the equalized ripple behavior in both the passband and stopband. When a Chebyshev type 1 filter merges with a type 2 filter, it becomes an elliptic filter. Elliptic filters also play a very important role in the processing of low frequency signals because they can be used for noise reduction in ECG or electrocardiodiagram signals. Last but not the least, we have the Gaussian analog filter. A Gaussian filter is a filter whose impulse response have a property of having no overshoot to a step function input while minimizing the rise and fall time. It is considered the ideal time domain filter. Gaussian filters are a widely used effect in graphic software typically to reduce image noise and reduce detail. Since the Fourier transform of a Gaussian is another Gaussian, applying a Gaussian blur has the effect of reducing the image's high-frequency components. A Gaussian blur, thus, is a low-pass filter. Now that we have covered all four types of common analog signals, we can now apply what we learned about analog signals in electronics. By further studying the concepts behind signal processing, together with the study of electronics, we will be able to design filter circuits that can be used in so many real-life applications, such as medical devices, satellites, microphones, loudspeakers, and much more.